All right, I was going to do a video. It's been long coming. I got busy. A uh, couple of things uh, that I've noticed when machining these out. Uh, there was a discussion about on other videos about one side being a little bit thicker than the other side. Uh, you can really see it. A uh, little bit better on this one as you can see the left side is a little bit thicker than the right side um, when it got machined out um, what I noticed was on my on how the uh, attachment attaches to the router you really got to make sure that you get them all evened up if not, it will do that. Now this one here, this one here is a lot better. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's a lot better than the other ones. Um, I guess I just didn't have it super, super centered on there. But uh, as you can see, uh, even when it isn't centered, there is plenty of room in there to get your trigger group in and everything. Now this one here is a Foztec Echo Sport Trigger, so there's a lot more going on inside of it, and it still doesn't have a problem. Now if I were to go again, I'd probably spend the extra money to get the uh, higher dollar Foztec, uh, just simply because this, this trigger is a pain in the ass to really get in there and do anything with. Uh, so that was something that I wanted to address. Also, if this is uh, AR-10, um, I showed you guys this before. It's all put together. Uh, everything fits fine. Uh, one thing that you do need to make sure, if you're going to build uh, one of these, uh, a lot of people like going to uh, PSA. You know, I, I shop there for some things, but I would highly recommend that you don't go through PSA for any of your 308 stuff. Simply because uh, 308 is not really mel spec. Uh, PSA decided to do their own proprietary thing with their uppers. So the uppers for PSA uh, don't fit. On any 80% lowers PSA doesn't sell any 80% lowers um, now I had a buddy that tried to build one off of uh, this is a Noreen lower uh, but your uh, bolt catch here uh, this would have to be milled out a little bit longer uh, for the PSA lower kit uh, he was also having a lot of problems with uh, certain pins and whatnot uh, so I would say uh, if you're going to do it, uh, don't get PSA 308 stuff. I know they sell uh, some Luth uh, lower kits. Uh, and this is a uh, Luth lower kit on this one here. Um, so I would definitely uh, keep an eye out for that. If, if you don't, you're going to be wasting a lot of money. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, you're, like I said, your PSA uppers are not going to fit onto anybody else's stuff. Uh, so keep that in mind uh, when you go to build. Uh, that way you're not wasting a bunch of money. Uh, you're, you know, I got a couple of, uh, couple of different lowers. Um, this one here, or uppers. Uh, this one here. Hold on here. This one here is a. Uh, I bought this assembled upper from uh, Primary Arms. It seems to do pretty good, uh, pretty good quality. Uh, the only issue I have is Keymod kind of seems backwards a little bit on this one to me. Uh, but that's. That's pretty good quality from PSA, and they're pretty affordable if you can find them. That's the big thing, uh, if you can find them. Uh, I know I checked on 80% uh, lowers. Um, 
just yesterday. Uh, the cheapest I could find for one of these raw lowers uh, was going to be about $60. Uh, and that is without shipping or any of that. So the prices of these have really gone up. Uh, maybe uh, Thanksgiving or sometime around there, somebody might be doing a deal. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I ended up, I bought a whole bunch of them a while ago, and I'm glad I did. Um... Uh, I got them for half the price that they're going for now. Uh, I know I talked about uh, maybe doing something with a polymer, uh, but polymer lowers, the lowest I could find price-wise on one of those was $70. So why would you go with something that could be not as strong uh, for more money? So I pretty much abandoned even trying a polymer lower at this point. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, lowers are going super high right now, uh, if you can find them. Uh, upper wise for the 308, uh, I got this upper here uh, from Bear Creek Arms. It seems to be pretty good. Uh, I did go with the side charging. Uh, you know, I... Figured it'd be kind of neat to go with something a little bit different on that. Uh, it does have its advantages. Uh, and this one here, back here, this is one I just built the other day. I uh, haven't gotten to shoot it yet. This is the 458 SOCOM from Bear Creek Arms. Again, I went with the side, uh, side charging. Um, but uh, tip with those guys... Uh, make sure you check everything is tight when you get it. Uh, sometimes things come loose. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out for that. But pretty decent prices at Bear Creek Arsenal. If they don't have what you want in stock, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to their email list. Uh, once you do that, as soon as they build them, they, they build a whole bunch of them. And they'll, once they're in stock, they'll send you an email. But uh, just be warned, uh, if you get that email, you need to get right on their website and order your upper. Uh, this, uh, this AR-10 upper here, uh, I got put on the waiting list, uh, got the email, and within 10 minutes after receiving the email, they had three different uh, 308 uppers uh up there at that time and within 10 minutes they were all sold out so keep that in mind uh, if you're gonna get on that list be ready to buy it whenever they build them and they have them ready for you but like I said I figured I'd go over a few things that I had uh, I'd been working on uh, some things that uh, I had found out uh, the main thing is on your 308 you know with uh, going through PSA uh, you're going to have a little bit of a rough time building them. And I uh, wanted to touch on the uh, the tolerances on the uh, trigger pocket here. Uh, but, all right, have a good day.